5.1. Future forms. There is no future tense in English. Instead, there are several forms that can refer to the future. Will. I'll see you later. Going to. We're going to see a film tonight. Present continuous. I'm seeing the doctor tomorrow. Might. I might be late. May. Who knows? You may win. Could. Take an umbrella. It could rain. The speaker chooses a future form depending on how he or she sees the future event. For example, a plan. I'm going to stop smoking next year. A decision at the time of speaking. Are you going shopping? I'll come with you. An intention. We'll have a coffee together later. An offer. I'll help you with your homework if you like. An arrangement. We're meeting James at 11 o'clock. A prediction. Our love will last forever. 5.2. Will, going to, and the present continuous. Form. Will. I'll see you later. I won't be late. Going to. I'm going to stay in a hotel. We aren't going to rent a cottage. We avoid saying going to come or going to go. Instead, we say We're coming tomorrow. When are you going home? Present continuous. I'm meeting Jan for lunch. I'm not seeing her till two o'clock. Questions. When will you be back? Where are you going to stay? What time are you seeing Jan? Facts and predictions. Will. We use will to express future time. It expresses a future fact or prediction. We'll be away for two weeks. You'll be sick if you eat all those sweets. We also use will for a prediction based on an opinion. I don't think Laura will do very well in her exam. She doesn't do any work. They think that inflation will fall to 3% next year. Going to. We use going to to express a prediction based on a present fact. There is evidence now that something is certain to happen. She's going to have a baby. It isn't going to rain today. Sometimes there is no difference between will and going to. This government will ruin the country. This government is going to ruin the country. Plans, decisions, intentions and arrangements. Will. We use will to express a decision, intention or offer made at the moment of speaking. I'll have a steak, please. Give me a call. We'll go out for coffee. The phone's ringing. I'll get it. Going to. We use going to to express a future plan, decision or intention made before the moment of speaking. When I grow up, I'm going to be a doctor. Jane and Peter are going to get married after they graduate. 
We're going to paint this room blue. Arrangements We use the present continuous for a future arrangement. It usually refers to the near future. We're going out with Jeremy tonight. I'm having my hair cut tomorrow. What are we having for lunch? We use the present continuous for things you put in your diary to remind you of what you are doing over the next few days and weeks. I'm meeting Peter tonight. The tailors are coming for dinner. I'm seeing the doctor in the morning. You can't use the present simple for diary arrangements. We're going to a party on Saturday night. Sometimes there is no difference between an arrangement using the present continuous and an intention using going to. We're going to get married in the spring. We're getting married in the spring. 5.3 Future possibility May, might and could Form May, might and could are modal verbs. Positive and negative I may see you later. I might see you later. I could see you later. I may not get the job. I might not get the job. Notice that we don't use could in the negative form. Question. We often ask questions about future possibility with do you think and will. Do you think you'll get the job? Use. May, might and could all express a future possibility. It may rain later. It might rain later. It could rain later. May can be more formal. The government may increase income tax. Could suggests something less definite. I could be a champion if I trained hard. Here are some more examples. I think polar bears might become extinct. The house is nice, but it could be beautiful. The government may decide to increase taxes on air travel.